Hello everyone, uh, Junior Che here. I'm the product manager for Berkeley Nucleonics. Uh, today I want to just quickly highlight our Model 765 pulse generator. It is our fast rise time pulse generator. We're very excited to uh, have this in our lineup, offer this uh, great unit to our customers. I want to give you a quick little demo on um, uh, the performance of this unit, how easy it is to set your parameters, and of course uh, mention the fast rise time, fall times of 70 picoseconds, uh, minimum pulse width of 300 picoseconds. So uh, as, as the, you can see, the unit is running right now. But basically the system is a Windows based operating system. Um, this touch screen, as you can see where the front panel is showing, that is basically Windows 10 and we have the pulse generator application opened up. And once you open up the application, you will see your front panel controls, and this is where you can set every channel. And again, each channel is completely independent. Uh, for this unit, this is a four channel unit. Uh, we have the first channel already hooked up to our scope. Uh, so let me give you a quick demonstration on how easy it is to set your pulse. Okay, so let, let me give you a quick demonstration on the fast pulse and the fast rise time itself. You know, again, 300 picoseconds pulse width, 70 picosecond rise and fall times. Um, if you look at the touch panel here, this will be your controls. Uh, as, you, as I mentioned earlier, you have four outputs, so each output will be represented with a button. You know, I have it on four right now, but let's go back to one. The first output is what we have hooked up to our scope. Now, since we mentioned 300 picosecond pulse width, let's go ahead and set it that way. All you need to do is click on the box for each uh, value. Uh, in this case, the width, I'm going to go ahead and type in 3, and 0, enter, OK. Let's try that one more time. Zero, zero, picosecond, enter. There we go. So now we have it set at 300 pico. The period you see here is set at 100 nanoseconds, uh, just for demonstration purposes. Uh, the voltage is set at one volt. Now you can change the format uh, to your liking. Uh, so for example, clicking on change format that is also within uh, the front panel controls if you go to more we'll be able to change uh, the, the format there but just for uh, um, the sake of ease of use go ahead and click that as you can see uh, the values have changed now it's the duty cycle instead of the pulse width now it is frequency instead of the period uh, amplitude instead of the minimum voltage and um, your start phase your burst you know different functions that will uh, change when you hit the, the changing format now let me click it back so we can all understand in the values of um, time so we set it to 300 picoseconds we have the channel enabled so right now it is not highlighted yellow it means it is not enabled we already have our setting we're good with that click okay now it has turned yellow it is enabled and ready to go so next step is just go ahead and push the run button right as I mentioned this output is connected to our uh, high speed oscilloscope if you look at the screen right here it'll show you the rise and fall times this is in the 80 20 scale uh, the rise time right here as you can see between 57 to 59 picoseconds. Again, we spec this at 70 pico, but you can easily attain some better results uh, d depending on the settings. Uh, so for the pulse width, uh, as you can see from the scope, it says 240, between 240 to 250 picoseconds, even though I have it set at 300 pico. So again, uh, that's what we spec it as, but uh, you can also expect to see some better numbers depending on the setup. I uh, must also mention, since uh, we have the change format here, uh, back on the frequency, you, the maximum frequency for each output is 200 megahertz. So 
if you put this into the quad pulse mode, which we could definitely uh, demonstrate for you at another time, uh, you can uh, easily attain 800 megahertz in the quad pulse mode. Uh, very, very high frequency, very high performing. And again, we are very excited to uh, have this in our lineup and be able to provide a fast pulse solution to our customers. So thank you for you know taking the time to, to take a look. If you have fast pulse needs, please feel free to reach out to uh, BNC or reach out to myself directly. My name is Junior Che. Uh, I am the product manager again for all of our TNM equipment. Any questions or concerns, again, I'm very happy to support you. Thank you very much.